this video we will talk about types of rattlesnakes and how to identify them, popular places they like to hide, what happens to your body when you get bit, what to do, and what not to do. Common types of Texas rattlesnakes that you may encounter. Western Diamondback, Timber, Mottled Rock, Banded Rock, Blacktail, and Mojave. The Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. This snake has brown diamond shaped markings along the middle of its back and it has alternating black and white rings around its tail. It averages in length of three and a half to four and a half feet long but can reach upwards of seven feet long. This is the most widespread snake in all of Texas. The Timber Rattlesnake. Also known as the caneback rattlesnake, it has a large and heavy body. It averages four and a half feet in length. They are brown or tan with white dark crossbands, and the tail is all black. They are found in the eastern third of Texas in wooded and wet bottomlands. The mottled rock rattlesnake. It has a light bream or pink background with widely spread dark crossbands and mottled areas between the crossbands. They are small and slender with an average length of about two feet. They are found in the mountainous areas of West Texas. The banded rock rattlesnake. Similar to the mottled rock rattlesnake, but darker green and gray in color. This snake is found only in the extreme western tip of West Texas. The Blacktail Rattlesnake. It is gray to olive green with dark blotches along its back and has a black tail. It's average in length of about three and a half feet. It is found from Central Texas through most of West Texas in bushes and rocky ledges. The Mojave Rattlesnake. This snake is similar to the Western Diamondback in markings, but it is smaller and more slender. These snakes are found only in extreme West Texas. Rattlesnakes really like the heat. I'd say early spring into late summer. These guys prefer the air temperature to be in between 70 and 90 degrees. They don't usually sit out in the open. If you do see one out in the open, it's probably just because they're going from point A to point B. They try to avoid any contact with anything that might be able to harm them, especially humans. You will most likely encounter one of these guys under rocks, shrubs, tall grass, or, or wood piles, or anything that has like nooks and crannies for them to hide in. On a sunny day, you might see them sunbathing on a rock or on some pavement. So you got bit by a rattlesnake. You might notice two puncture wounds in the area where you were bitten. You might also experience burning, tingling, swelling, bruising, or discoloration. You might also experience numbness, headaches, weakness, nausea or vomiting, sweating, drooling, and even blurred vision. Try to have the wound attended to within the first 30 to 45 minutes. It could lead to organ failure and even death. Assume envenomation has occurred, especially if symptoms are present. Identify the species. Knowing the correct species of snake can help get the correct antivenom. Keep the victim calm. A slow heart rate helps stop the spread of the venom. Be able to identify all the symptoms. Wash the bite with disinfectant if you have any. 
Remove jewelry and tight fitting clothes as it could constrict blood flow during swelling. Reduce movement to the affected extremity. Use a splint if necessary. Keep affected extremity below the level of the heart. Finally, get the victim medical attention as soon as possible. Do not try to treat the snake butt by yourself. You are not a doctor. You may only make it worse. Do not use cold compress. It may cause necrosis. This should go without saying, but do not drink alcohol. It thins the blood and it increases absorption from the circulatory system. Do not take any pain medication containing aspirin. It will Keep your yard mode. Tall grass is great cover for a snake to move around unseen. Clear debris from your yard such as brush pile, rock, wood, and other trash. It may be good hiding place for the snakes and their prey. Wear proper footwear. I know you may always not have snake boots, but at least wear some shoes. Be aware of your surroundings. Know where you're walking, know where you're going, know what's under the rock you're about to step over, know what's inside that log that you just climbed over. Just keep your eyes open. So guys, the other day I was out doing a video and I was in an abandoned house. The grass was pretty tall. I mean, it was probably like knee high. There was trash all in the yard. The house had clearly been abandoned for, I mean, I, I don't know how long, but I mean, it was abandoned for a while. You could, you could tell just the windows were boarded up. Like I said, the grass was tall, trash everywhere. I was walking around in shorts, uh, some low top shoes, not really kind of paying attention to where I was going. And I stepped on a rattlesnake. Um, I uploaded the video uh, a week or so ago. You actually hear the snake in the, uh, in the video. Luckily, I didn't get bit. Um, just scary. So I went and did a bunch of research and I, I kind of threw this video together. Um, like I said in the disclaimer, I, I, I'm not a rattlesnake expert by any means, but I just made this video in hopes that it might um, prevent some, some, at least one person from getting bit by a snake uh, and maybe save somebody's life. I, I don't know. So, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I, I hope you guys uh, liked the video. hope it was informative and, uh, man, while y'all are out there, just be safe. No matter what you're doing, just kind of watch where you're going. This time of year, um, we're in May, the 1st of May in Texas. Temperatures are up and the snakes are out. So just be careful, guys.